Hello and welcome to En La Sena. I'm Andrew Rosario, sitting alongside of Lauren Leon, and we're here at the Tony Testa CD party. Yes, we are, and I got to interview Tony Testa for his Made album. What about you, Andrew? Oh, I talked to a couple of really good-looking women, uh, Antoinette Elias, who's a budding actress from Pennsylvania, and Mob Wives, Carla Fasciolo. that put this event together. How was that? Well, Tony called me like <laughs> 72 hours ago. <laughs> I said, I'm on. He said, listen, I'm doing this party, but I need help. I said, come on, Tony, what do you need? So he said, I need to do this, this, this. I said, look, don't worry about it. We know all the key industry professionals. We'll get it done. We do these things in like 24 hours. So by the grace of God, we have very good guests. We have great people, great interviewers, a great location. And it all came together magically. And I'm blessed by the grace of God that we were able to make it happen. He's also doing a lot of acting. Um, he's a lot of reality show stuff he's doing. Plus, we're getting some movie deals we're working on. And the music is great. Um, we have some very good producers behind us. And I see his career going to a very good direction. For the Tony Tessa CD release mm -hmm. party, what do you think of him as an artist? Uh, have you heard his uh, his CD, his debut CD? What do you think of it? Some of the songs are super catchy. Like I like, watched Twitter twice. Okay. Um, very funny, very cute, um, and it's just a style all his own. Tell me a little bit about his music. Tell me about him. And you also uh, said you're in one of his music videos as well. Yeah, when uh, Tony did the party time song, okay. uh, I was in his video. Me and Tony, our families grew up together as kids. Actually, his dad lived right next door to my mom growing up, and um, we didn't know each other yet because we probably still in, our, in the bellies of our moms. <laughs> but uh, I consider Tony like family to me, and we just, you know, we came across each other and we became such good friends. And I'm so happy for him that he's doing this. I mean, his songs are really, really fun. They're great. I didn't hear all of them yet, but the party time one I love. Thing about Tony's new music, I think it is awesome. I've been loving it from day one, and then this album is definitely made. This is this is what makes him. Like this album right here is gonna bring him to where he needs to be, and I, I honestly believe that all the music here, so many different genres, they're gonna be able to touch a lot of people. Did you break into the music industry? How did I break into the music industry? It, it kind of took its course over a few years, but pretty much through a, a connection to uh, producer Ty Fife. Um, we had a friendship relationship, and. Uh, he was able to pretty much put me in the right situation. Even though I had the passion from when I was really young and I always wrote poetry and stuff like that, I never really um, converted it over to, to writing lyrics for songs. Met Tony for the first time tonight. I know his music very well. Tony is the nicest guy in the world. Great look. And yes, the first words out of his mouth is, I want to be in a movie. This isn't my type of music, but I mean, I can see myself cruise into it in my car. I'm not going to lie. I love it. I like the way he touched with the people, you know. He got a lot of music I can relate to. I know a couple people with the others of the other situation, they like it as well. So, you know, I, I like the way he touched to the masses. Do you have any favorite songs from the album? My favorite is The Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Tell us about that one. What is it about? It's it, it, it's just it, it really relates to everyone. You know, it's it's a, it's a good it's a good song that no matter what you are, black, white, Spanish, you can relate to because it, it's part of our nature. You know Tony. Oh, Tony's my man. I mean, listen, it's an Italian American movement. You know, we always gotta show support, whether it's Staten Island, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about his new music? But it is, it's like when you listen to it, you're thinking like Rick Ross, but then you find out, oh man, this is Tony Testa, man, this is official, you know what I'm saying? So if Rick could do it, Tony could do it. It was really exciting, actually, when I came here with Armando, he was telling me about Tony, and just meeting him and talking to him and hearing a few seconds of the song, I mean, I really think he's on his way to exploding, and I just can't wait for people to hear his music and his voice, because what I heard, even though it was brief, I was really blown away by it. What artists would you say you listen to and they influence? I would say, I mean, of course, Biggie, you know what I mean? And, and I'm, I'm a big Tupac fan and, and Jay-Z. Of course, I mean, those are the, the, the rhetorical answers, you know what I mean? That's always going to be the answers, Eminem. I'm just a big fan of music, you know what I mean? For the most part, um, Down South, Ludacris, um, Young Jeezy, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just a big fan of music, you know? What can we expect from Tony Testa Made? Uh, we could expect a nice, a nice round assortment of music, you know what I mean? I try to give a little something for everybody. And... Um, you know, really, really get, 
you know, the fans, the guys that stood with me and, 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 and bought the first album and listened to it, you know, I wanted to give them something and another step, you know, growing musically, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted the album to be a, just a better, well-rounded overall album, you know, and I think I really, I succeeded in doing that, you know, I got a lot of good records on that, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of, of the product. Now, I see you, it says here, join us in the fight. What are we fighting against? We're fighting against cancer. Uh, I recently just lost my mother. She had a, you know, her, her uh, it sounds crazy, but she had a third full battle with, uh, with cancer. Um, she, got, she got struck real young at 21 and relapsed at 31. And uh, this was her last one. And she, we just lost her about 10 weeks ago. So um, her birthday's actually tomorrow. And uh, the album comes out on her birthday. And I'm donating uh, the proceeds from the first week's album sales uh, to the Cancer Society. Lauren, very interesting evening tonight. Yes, it was. Tony's music definitely got me a little hype. And I spoke with an aspiring actress as well as the Mob Wives girl. For Lauren Leone, I'm Andrew Rosario. This is En La Cena.